Lord, when you punish those who do evil, also punish those who have stopped following your way. They were one day here, but now they are all over the place doing sinful things. Well, Lord, punish them. It's a prayer. It's a prayer for someone who loves the rest. It's not a prayer about revenge. Oh, I'm hurting because this and that. So, Lord, punish them. No, that's vengeance. That's not nice. But makes me think of my own experience as a son, as a child. My parents punishing me and my parents spanking me. Ouch. Why did they correct me? Why do you think they did that? Because they hated me? No, because they loved me. Remember, the church, we believers, the church, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth, we are the Israel of God. You are part of the Israel of God. You are entitled to the promises in the Old Testament and the New Testament for blessings, prosperity, healing, etc., You are the Israel of God on earth today as a church. Jews, they are like any other pagan group when they refuse to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. No difference whatsoever. There is only one thing that they have, in, which is an advantage, is that there is a promise that the Lord will remember His people. But still... When the time comes and they don't repent, they will be in the same category of any other sinner. Don't freak out because someone that you love so much is going through punishment and all type of uh, bad experiences. Don't freak out. You keep your peace. But I love him so much. Well, me too. But the Lord loves them more. And if the Lord is dealing with someone, well, are you going to Stop the Lord? Now imagine, the Lord in His immense knowledge of what's going on in the world and what's going on in the life of these people, the Lord is punishing them. Are you going to tell God to not do what He already decided to do? And you think that you are right about that? You are mistaken, my friend. You are just showing ignorance. You don't even know who the authority of the whole universe is. 